Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Fazal Wahab. You are watching my YouTube channel. We are continuing uh, with the uh, numerical problem of chapter number two, which is scalars and vectors, hai, and we are solving the numericals of this chapter. Today, we will continue with the numerical problem uh, number 2.10. And you can see the problem 2.10 on your screen. The problem is, uh, given that A is equal to I minus 2J plus 3K and B is equal to 3I minus 4K, find the length of the projection of A on B. This is problem number 2.10. Given that A is equal to I minus 2J plus 3K and B is equal to 3I minus 4K, find the length of the projection of A and B. Let's solve this problem on the whiteboard. Okay, uh, vector A is equal to vector A is equal to I minus 2J plus 3K. I minus 2J plus 3K. And vector B is equal to, okay, 3i minus 4k, 3i minus 4k, 3i minus 4k. Okay, the projection of A on B, the length of the projection of A on B, The on A on B. This is we need to find this one, okay. So the length of the projection of A on B is A cos theta. You can see this one here. It is vector B, let's say. It's vector B and it's vector A. It is vector A. The projection of A on B will be this one. Look at the drop, drop a perpendicular from the tip of the A on B and the direction of B. We got A x and we can write this one this is vector b this will become vector a which is in the direction of vector b and also you can write this a x you can write this a x and this will become a y this a x is the projection of a on b and a x is equal to a x is equal to a cos theta so we need a cos theta because the projection of a on b is a cos a x and the formula for a x is equal to a cos theta this is an angle theta and uh, the vector a makes with the uh, direction of vector b so when we uh, resolve this vector a into its component and draw perpendicular on vector b we will get two components of vector a one is the horizontal component which is a x the second one is the vertical component of this vector a which is a y we need the projection of vector a on b with the projection of the component of the vector a which is in the direction of vector b and that is a x a y is perpendicular to b so we don't need that one we just need the perpend the, the horizontal component of vector a which is in the direction of b and that will be the projection of vector a on vector b so that is a x in a cos theta a x projection of of a on b is equal to a x which is equal to a cos theta so we need a cos theta okay so uh, a dot b vector a dot b is equal to we need this is equal to a b cos theta why because the dot product of a and b is equal to a b cos theta we have already learned about this one so we need a cos theta a cos theta is the pro 
a cos theta is the projection of vector a on b so we will shift this b into uh, to this side upon magnitude of vector b so a cos theta which is the projection of vector b it is available here a cos theta and this is the projection of vector a on b we need this one so we will make it a subject and we will shift this the magnitude of vector b into the other side of the equation this is multiplying here with this a cos theta so we even will, will transfer this into the other side of the equation that will become divide with this one so a dot b upon b will be the a cos theta and now we can put the values uh, of a dot b so we need all these things right now because a dot b we need this one a dot b first because we don't have the value for a dot b so a dot b is equal to a okay a dot b we have a and we have b so multiply this one a is equal to i minus 2j plus 3k i minus 2j plus 3k ye a dot b b is 3i minus 4k 3i and we can write plus 0j because we don't have any j component any vertical component the component of the vector b along the y axis we don't have that in the uh, this vector so we will put 0j for that one and then minus 4k minus 4k and if you don't want to write this one so you don't need this one but if you wanted to write so you can write uh, the vector b in this form also so now it is one here one multiplied by three and i dot i minus plus is minus two multiplied by zero and j dot j okay and then plus minus is minus 3 multiplied by 4 and k dot k okay now uh, 3 ones are 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2 0 0 multiplied by 1 or minus 3 4 are 12 multiplied by 1 k dot k is 1 j dot j is 1 in i dot i is 1 3 ones are 3 minus 0 minus 12 and we got minus 9 okay so a dot b is minus 9 now we need the mag a dot b we got a dot b here now the magnitude of b we need the magnitude of b so magnitude of b is equal to magnitude of b is equal to 3 square plus minus 4 square 3 square plus minus 4 square in under root 3 3 is a 9 plus 4 4 is a 16 minus we, we are taking the square of minus 4 so this minus will be converted into plus and 4 4 is a 16 because minus minus plus because taking the square of minus 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 plus we get plus and then 4 4 is a 16 and this is under root here so 25 under root and we got 5 now put the values of uh, a dot b and b in that formula so a cos theta cos theta is a dot b upon b a dot b is equal to minus 9 minus 9 and a dot b a dot b you got here minus 9 a dot b is equal to minus 9 the magnitude of b is equal to 5 is equal to 5 so you got the a cos theta is equal to minus 9 upon 5 and this is the final answer of this question it was problem number 2.10 now we are going to solve the problem number uh, 2.11 and the, you can see the problem number 2.11 on the screen vector a b and c are four units north three units west and eight units east respectively it means that a is three units uh, four units north b is three units west and c is eight units east respectively describe carefully number a a cross b number b 
a cross c and number c is b cross c we have to find out the a cross b and a cross c and b cross c and the answer for this question so let's solve this question on the whiteboard okay vector a is four units north s vector a is equal to four units magnitude of vector a is four units and it is in the direction of north so vector b as three units and the direction of west west and vector c is eight units and the direction of east okay now uh, here is a cardinal reference of axis cardinal system for the direction it is north it is south it is east and it is west normally we can show this like show this like this one okay uh, now vector a is four units north so vector a is in this direction it is vector a and it's four unit north okay and vector uh, 3 b is in this direction so vector b is in this direction it's vector b okay now look at this one this is vector a this is vector b okay and we are using right hand rule okay right hand rule this is vector a this is vector a this is vector b vector a vector b and right hand rule means when we are a cross b we are going to find out a cross b this will go in this direction so the thumb will point upward the thumb will point upward a cross b this is a b right hand right hand fleming rule a cross b means you are multiplying this in this direction so you will get the thumb up so we will get the results uh, then we will multiply this one but the, the the direction will be in the upward direction this is a b and this is upward direction okay so first of all a cross b we need to find out a cross b a cross b it is a vector product okay it's a vector product or cross product that is equal to a b sin theta it's not a scalar product and the scalar product we are a dot b is equal to a b cos theta but it is a scale vector product or cross product so that is equal to a cross b is equal to a b sine theta now the magnitude for a is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 and they are perpendicular to each other you see this one they are perpendicular to each other because north and west are perpendicular to each other this is, the angle is 90 degree therefore sine 90 4 3 multiplied by sine 90 sine 90 so 4 3 is a 12 multiplied by sine 90 is equal to 1 you are getting 12 units in the upward direction 12 units the answer is in the upward direction and I have explained that why it is in upward direction upward direction this is the answer upward direction again it's a it's b and the thumb showing the direction of the resultant vector a cross b thumb is showing the direction of the so a cross b look at this one it is a it's b so a cross b right hand rule right hand rule the thumb is pointing towards the direction of the resultant vector so direction the resultant vector will be in the upward direction okay now part b here is part B is B cross A cross C A cross C A cross C is equal to A C sin theta it is A and C is 8 units in east direction C is 8 units in east direction it is in this this is C C is in east direction now look at this one a c a c now it is a it is not c c is in e direction so change the direction look at this one 
A, this one is A, and this one is C. You see this one, okay? Look at this one. It is A, and it is C. A, C. This thumb is pointing towards the resultant vector, and this will be in the downward, downward direction. A, C, this is A, this is C, and thumb is pointing towards the resultant vector. So, we will get A, A is equal to 4 units multiplied by C, C is equal to 8 units and multiplied by sine 90. Angle is 90 degree. You see this one? Angle is 90 degree. So, sine 90, 4 8s are 32 multiplied by 1, you got 32 units in the downward direction. Uh, downward direction. Okay, last one is uh, part C is, I think it is B plus C. Okay. It is B cross C. B cross C is equal to B C sine theta. Okay, here it is B. This one is B and this one is C. Okay, and the angle between them is 180 degree. So, uh, the angle between them is 180 degree. So, this is B and this is C. This is C. So, now we are multiplying this in this direction. Okay. B multiplied by C. B multiplied by C, right hand rule. Now, it is like this one. It is B and it is C. Angle is 180 degree. The thumb will go downward. Again, the thumb will go downward because we are in the clockwise direction. So the thumb when going in this direction, look at this one, this arrow, look at this one, makes these fingers in this arrow direction. This one, the thumb is going downward. You see this one, the thumb is going downward. So this one, we will get the result. B is uh, A, uh, B is four, three, sorry. Three multiplied by eight, Eight multiplied by sine 180 degree. We are getting the angle 180 degree. And sine 180 is equal to 0. So, we will get the resultant which is 0. 3 eights are 24 units. Oh, sorry. 3 eights are 24 multiplied by sine 180 is equal to 0. We are getting 0. If we have a null vector, then... Uh, then the uh, zero magnitude it means it has a null vector and it has no direction or the direction in all uh, in, in, in all sides so uh, we don't need to write any downward any upward because we are getting zero magnitude for the B cross C so this was the question number 2.10 in which you have to show the direction and the magnitude of A cross B and A cross C and then B cross C and this was the question. The remaining question we will solve inshallah in the next video.